This video should give you a better understanding of how Amazon Web Services Auto Scaling works with Big IP Virtual Edition. In these videos, I'll show you how to use auto scaling with Big IP VE instances, as well as with application server instances. This is an immutable deployment, meaning that after it's set up, you would need to start from scratch if you have changes to your configuration. In the simplest Big IP configuration, traffic goes through an AWS Elastic Load Balancer through the Big IP VE and to the application server, which Big IP views as being part of a server pool. With auto scaling, the idea is that when traffic increases, you want to create more application server instances. These new instances are automatically recognized by Big IP and added to the server pool. In addition to application servers, you might want to automatically create more Big IP VE instances. These instances are automatically added behind the AWS load balancer and will accept and send traffic to the application servers. Now, how do you set up this configuration where instances are added and removed based on thresholds you define? Let's go back to our first simple configuration. This is where you start. You want to set up a simple configuration first and ensure that all the connections are working. Big IP needs to know when new instances are in the pool, so you'll need to set up communication between Amazon and Big IP. To do this, you'll complete tasks, including running some TMSH commands, that are covered in this video series as well as in the product documentation. When you're done with those tasks, you shut down your Big IP and create an image of it. You also shut down your application server instance and create an image of it. After you have your images, you can remove the Big IP and the application servers from the base configuration. Then, in AWS, you create launch configurations, which basically say, here is the image to use when spinning up a new instance. Then you create auto-scaling groups in AWS. These are placeholders for where you want the new instances to go. Finally, also in AWS, you create a CloudWatch alarm that says when a certain threshold is reached, use my image and spin up a new instance from it. You can specify how many instances will be created when a threshold is reached. You can also use CloudWatch alarms to trigger instance removal when traffic slows. Instances will be added and removed based on the thresholds that you define in your CloudWatch alarms. For more information about Big IP VE and Amazon Autoscaling, see the Autoscaling documentation on f5.com.